What would learning look like if we took full advantage of digital network technologies? Here's a look at one day in the not-so-distant future. Hmm, more data coming in. Hopefully one of these folks will be able to help. My mom is always checking on her school's website to see what I'm working on, and then starts the morning at home quiz. How's your geography homecoming? It's going great. Good. Along with seeing our kids' assignments, we can easily sync up the school event calendar to our family calendar. During a long work day, I can keep in touch with what the kids are up to at school. Hey, Dad. Hey, should you download that book for tonight? Yes. I love the fact that I can do so much with the laptop I got from school. Hey, Micah, do you want me to help you with your graph? Like getting help from Jen, a high school tutor. Micah, here's an example of the graph. We're designing an app to teach life science to middle schoolers like Micah. Each group in class is working on different parts of the project. This group is learning more about mitochondria. And these folks are composing the music for the app, while they are creating the artwork. I'm online with an app developer. He's showing us how to develop and test the app. Soon we'll be sharing a beta of it with Micah's class. So I tell you what, I'll send you a couple links and you guys can download those and work on those. Some students in our class are creating a video or slideshow for the project. Our team is creating an ebook. We're excited and a bit nervous because our projects are being shared with the local community, including with scientists. Our classmate is still sick. Hey, Lindsay. So we're connecting with her to share what we've been working on. Using digital tools, I can evaluate student progress in real time to provide the right kind of learning support and to assess their learning. Our classrooms are set up to be flexible with a presentation area, project areas, and quiet areas. Classrooms are set up to work for all students. The kids' assignments let us know how they're linked to state standards. Oh, that's right. Micah's test is soon. Ah. Time to see what the kids have been working on. Our kids are really engaged in class projects that include their interests. We've been using music to learn math. I've been using this app to monitor my fitness goals. I can share my progress with my track coach. Although our personal fitness data is private, we can still share it anonymously with the rest of our health class. Okay. Do you want to look sure. at our health data? Sure. What is it about? Our health. Oh, hey, I forgot to text Micah. We want to focus first with the coarse focus and then with the fine focus. Our students are able to use the tools they need, sometimes virtually, sometimes physically. We're collecting lots of data. What's really interesting is using the data we've collected at our homes. After reviewing our data, I shared with the class the science app that Jen's class built. Working together, we've created curriculum and shared it online so teachers across the district can draw from it. We've also designed a variety of projects so students can contribute to learning resources. My brother and I can easily work on our class projects at school and at home. 
Tomorrow, a mystery class is joining us online. So, we're coming up with questions to figure out where they're from. During family reading hour, I can often join them. Hi, Dad. Want to start reading? Okay, great. Good day, human type life forms. I like to use the translation tool. That's pretty cool. So you turn the page. That's what a day in the life in Seattle might look like. If we took full advantage of digital networked technologies. That's the vision. Using digital technology, Seattle students are empowered and fully engaged in their learning. Every student has a digital device with video, audio, and text capability, an internet connection they can use whenever and wherever they are. 